Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today I have a haul for you all of some of the various Happy Planner items that I recently purchased with the new release. What I actually did is I have a huge haul, but I'm gonna divide it up into three videos. I've got this one here, which is kind of just everything else. And then I've got a video of the sticker books that I purchased. And then I've got a video of the baby items that I purchased. So um, this is kind of just the catch all though. Um, I did not purchase every item that um, occurred in the release. I only purchased items that I wanted to use or gift. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into that. So first of all, I got these two little micro happy notes. Um, I picked this one up for myself. It's got the mermaid scales that are foiled and it's got dot grid paper in it and kind of the little mermaid scale design right there on the border. And so I grabbed that and that is what the inside cover looks like. Then I grabbed this one for my daughter. She always likes to have the same things as me. So I got this cute little mermaid one for her. It says life is magical. Here is the inside of that one. And it's just got some lined paper. And I'm actually gonna set this aside to put in her Easter basket. So I got those two little mini notes. And then I got the, um, mini or I guess micro notes. I got the mini um, hooray for today journaling planner. Um, I really love these new journaling layouts that they came up with. So I grabbed this one and um, I haven't quite decided um, when I want to start implementing it, but I really like doing the last time that I did stuff. Um, so wash sheets and bedding, cleaned out the fridge, got the car on oil change, got a physical checkup, cleaned out the closet, and I can fill in other things there. Um, I thought this would be good for on the go maybe. And then I also just liked how some of the pages were already laid out for you. Um, that way you could kind of play around with it, see what worked best, and um, you know, draw it on some other pages if one of them worked well. So I have no idea what I want to use it for yet, but I did go ahead and pick that up. And then of course, here is the different tabs. I'll show you those. But it looks like it's pretty much the same layout at the beginning of each tab, like when you get into the set of note pages. So, and I know there were other options. Um, this is actually the only option that my Joann's had at the time I went in. So, and this is the one I wanted, so it worked out really well. So I grabbed that. And then, let's see, let me show you the other journals that I picked up. So I did pick up this one. It's like the half sheet equivalent, and I actually found this one at Hobby Lobby in a cart. They had not even put it out yet, and I've already started using it. Um, it's got the stars on the inside. And then let me just flip to a blank page. It's got the stars on the border there. And so I just thought this would be really good for making lists. Um, as you can see, I've already started using it, but I was really happy when I found this one. It's one of the ones I wanted and it was the only one my Hobby Lobby had when I went in. So that worked out well. And then I also got two of the classic size journals. So I wanted this one here, which I did not get all the sticky off, but it says, go after your dreams. And it's got the stars on the inside. And then again, I have no idea what I want to use these for, but I really liked these layouts. And um, so I wanted to grab them. So, and I really like the habit one over here. That's one I definitely want to implement and it gives you the full 31 days. So I would like to do some more goal setting for sure. Um, and this is the same layout as the mini. So I'm just gonna show you the tabs that are in this one. Focus on what matters. Great things can happen when you have the courage to be yourself. There's the back of that one. And then keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. So I just thought this was super pretty. So I picked that one up. And it's actually kind of hard to turn on the rings. Um, 
Let me get the other one out. I got the Agate one. Um, I loved the planner that matched this. And um, I did not pick up the planner because I already had one. So I was super excited when they turned it into a notebook. So I had to grab it. Sorry about that glare. It's just how my light is. So I'll just show you the inside of this one. Again, it is the same layout on each of the note pages as the one we just looked at. Um, I just wanted the different design and the extra pages of those that were already kind of laid out. And what I really hope they do is maybe even like go ahead and sell a pack where you can get these sheets um, already pre-laid out. I don't bullet journal. I want to get into it a little bit more, but let's be honest, I don't bullet journal. At least not yet. You are a gem. So that is that one. And so those are the journals that I grabbed. I got this one this one in the classic, this one in the half sheets, and then the one mini and the two micros that I showed you. And I'll apologize in advance if items start popping up in the screen, my daughter is helping. So next I picked up the custom cover pack. Um, I don't have any intentions for this for sure. I just wanted to pick it up so that I could do a custom cover and it kind of shows you can just slide different slips in this. Um, you could do pictures or whatever you want. So I did pick up one of those to have. Then I picked up the stencil set here. Um, like I said, I do not bullet journal, but I want to maybe kind of implement some of those layouts that they had suggested. So I did pick this up. So here is what this one looks like. And actually, this is what I really wanted was this for... Um, Habit tracking, I thought that would be great to have. And then of course you've got your little banners and stuff down there. Then you've got this one here for drawing your boxes, which I also thought would be super helpful. And I thought these bullet points would be helpful for me making list. And then I just thought this was cute. So you are capable of amazing things. Thank you. So that is everything in that. All right, and then next I did grab two of the accessory packs. Um, I got household and journaling. I picked up the household because um, I did not think I was gonna be picking up the sticker book and I wanted some of the stickers and hopefully my lighting will work with me well. Um, those are actually really big icons, but still I could use them. And so I actually didn't even get a chance to flip through this yet. Um, so this is kind of my first impression, but, um, I had seen some of the flip throughs and I thought that it would be useful for me. Housework won't kill you, but why take a chance? So I did know it had a few witty things in it. Let's see. Clean it up. Those are kind of cute. I'm actually having a really hard time trying to flip through this. So a little to clean list. Uh, remember, super busy, do all the things. Polish wood, fresh and, oh, this might be great for like a spring cleaning because it's little odd and in things. Um, Clean oven, clean microwave, wash car, dust blinds. Maybe some things you don't do on a regular basis, like dust your blinds, if you're me. Let's see, bills to pay, today to do, yard work, clean. Yeah, I think this will actually be really good for spring cleaning for me. House payment, credit card due, electricity due. Then we've got some more foiled icons, grocery list. Now see, I have a few like general items I get every time. I might actually like put this in a place where I will look at it more than once um, or can refer to it more than once. And pages are already falling out. Um, yeah, I might use that as like my general list that I get every time I go to the grocery. And then let's see, I'm a chaos coordinator dishing it out. 
So anyways, those are actually super cute. And then it's got the little post-its and I really like that it had chores and you can write four of them uh, down right there and then mark done, bill due, and let's eat. And I just thought those would be super functional for me. And then here is the whole reason I actually even got this set was for these down here. I thought these would be great for writing out like my basic chores that I do every week. So you've got clean all the things there, chore checklist. And instead of checking them off, I'll just go down my list because I have a set chores that I do every week. So I figured why not? Cleaning schedule daily, weekly, monthly. So let's see, weekly meals. I might actually change that to something different. Um, we, we change it up. And I don't even do the meal planning top three chores to do this week. So yeah, these I just think will be super functional. I can write out three chores that I want to accomplish in a week. And then I can move that to upcoming weeks as I complete them. So that is all for that. So anyways. If you want something super functional for around the house, I would definitely suggest this. I actually like it more than I thought I would, even though pages are falling out. So that is the household. Then the next one I grabbed was the journaling because I got all the other journaling items. And again, I've only kind of seen a flip through, but I love these calendars. It's one of the things that made me want it. Let's see, read and you do like habit tracking. Definitely want to do more reading over the summer when I'm out of class. We've got little day banners. Days of the week. Stretch. I loved this girl when I saw her. And I believe she's in one of the sticker books too. I was so excited because I just thought she was super cute and great for habit tracking. Move. Me time. Definitely will never do that daily. I wish. Sleep tracker, goals, habit tracker, and then again, these calendar habit trackers are what got me into this set. Make the bed, today's weather, more of the habit trackers, some banners, wake up early, no screen time. Super cute. I might have to get a second one of these. I really liked those. Um, then we got the little post-its here and I actually just really loved this one here with the florals on it. And then some journaling key, cleaning schedule, reading list, make yourself a priority, meal prep, uh, sleep tracker, bill tracker, um, I hope there are days when you fall in love with being alive, habit tracker, looks like we've got a lot of, ugh, a lot of habit trackers, goals, and goals in this one. Now I wonder what the habit tracker one looks like. I might have to go watch a um, flip through of that because I did not pick that one up. So those are the two um, accessory packs that I got and now I'm really curious what the other ones look like um, and then next I got these here this week's goals and it's got a whole checklist and these are the ones that are made to fold okay so here is what that looks like it says this week's goals you've got your full list here and you open it up, don't forget, and it is dot grid. And then if you flip it over, it's got lines here and it says ideas. So there's what that looks like. And there is the inside. And hopefully these will just kind of work for um, making list for me. Not necessarily goals, but just making list in general. And then last but certainly not least, I got the, um, household expansion pack and I have not opened this yet to even look at it and I will say that the pictures online were actually really hard to look through it so we're just going to go ahead and look together and I actually did pick up a set of rings right here so let me put these on these rings really quick and then we'll go through it
Okay, so I picked up the translucent teal rings, and I know my lighting is not gonna do those justice, but I figured I'd just throw this expansion pack on there um, so I could kind of flip through it a little bit better. So it says, home is the nicest word there is. And then first of all, we've got chores, and it actually gives you like a whole list of like daily chores, some make beds, meal prep, wash dishes, wipe counters, declutter, laundry, vacuum sweep, trash, water plants, five minute pickup, and then it gives you weekly chores that you can check off here too. And then down here, it gives you monthly chores. And then you can write in your own as well. Then over here, we've got like daily chores and you could check those off. Um, monthly chores are down here. And it looks like you get multiple pages of those which will be great to start creating some habits. Now, um, I did pick up an extra expansion pack. That way if I go through this and I really loved it, I do have a backup, but we'll see. Then next we've got meal plans. Some of the sweetest memories are made when gathered around the table. And I don't do the meal planning, so I'm not sure if this is a section I'll use much, but I could kind of make a general list of what some of the grocery that we buy our and then the general meals we do. Cause like we do Taco Tuesday every other Tuesday. And a lot of times on Mondays, um, I'll do pasta cause it's something that's quick and easy when I get home. But I do really love this kitchen uh, substitution list. So it's common kitchen substitutions. So it's got like a baking mix. It tells you how to make it. Baking powder, um, broth, um, let's see, buttermilk chocolate, cocoa, corn syrup, cottage cheese. It's got all these different alternatives for some of the things you use when baking and cooking. And so I think that will be very helpful. And then over here, it's just got your week, um, weekly menu plan and then your grocery list. And you get quite a few pages of that. So I might just kind of track what we do um, and see how that goes. And then on the back here, it does have snacks and quick bites and recipe meal prep, but I do want to get the recipe book. So I might use this until I'm able to get my hands on that. Then next, we have a budget section. Um, and I already do budgeting, but this might be a good reference point um, because it's the layout of the budget expansion pack that they have, and I actually really like this layout more than I like my budget planner. So for this one, what you do is you actually get to write up here your main income, your extra income, your total income, projected actual and total difference, and that's how the expansion pack does, and then it's broke down into categories, and you've got open spaces to fill in your own. And I actually love this layout. Um, so I'm definitely excited to eventually go back to it. So I might just write out my general bills on here just to use as a reference when I do my budgeting in my budget planner. Then we've got this tab here, which is probably my favorite. It's got rose gold foiling and it says home isn't a place, it's a feeling. And this is projects. So here are some project sheets. So at the top, inspiration and resources, sketches and ideas, and you've got lines, dot grid, and then the project, you could title it or explain it, and then supplies on hand, supplies to purchase, cost, and details. And then on the back, it's got photos, visions, and sketches, and then project notes. And it's got some dot grid up there and some line there. And so you get a decent little amount of those. And that is everything that comes in the expansion pack. So you get chores, meal plans, budget, and projects. And it kind of just covers everything you need in your home. Um, there's definitely um, three sections for sure. The chores, the budget, and the project. Or the... So it kind of um, covers everything in the home. You've got chores, meal plans, budget, and projects and then of course you could add in your own note pages and kind of do some journaling of other things you want to accomplish too. So I'm definitely excited to implement this and see if it kind of helps out around my house. So that is everything that I got to show you all today. Um, I picked up various items from the new release 
and there's a few more I want to get my hands on and hopefully um, I will be able to find those. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.